All of us want sleep. Glossy hair that is easy to manage and always looks good. Sadly, not all of us are that lucky. All is not lost. However, it is actually possible for all of us to have healthy hair, although healthy will look different on every hair type. The reason most of us have unhealthy and damaged hair is due to the fact that we were never taught how to look after our hair. Most of us don't even know what our hair type is. In this video, you will find 15 secrets that will improve the health of your hair, no matter your hair type. Our first secret is to make sure that you are getting enough protein in your diet. A series of studies done on animals showed that protein deficiency in both the short and the long term can lead to hair thinning and loss. Our hair and nails are made from the same thing, keratin, and when our diet is lacking they are the first of our body to suffer. When we become protein deficient our hair growth slows. Secret hash 2 is that boosting your omega-3 intake will make your hair healthier and shinier. This is not just true in humans. Grizzly bears have notoriously glossy and healthy coats because their diet mainly consists of cold water fish. Many dog owners are also encouraged to give their pups cod liver oil supplements to improve their fur health. Do not wash your hair every day. Hairdressers have been trying to tell us that for years. This isn't just an industry myth. However, the science backs it up. When you are washing your hair, you need to think about your hair as if it has three different parts, your scalp, your roots, and the tips of your hair. They all need to be treated differently as you will see throughout this article. When you are washing your hair, you should always use a conditioner. Shampoo and conditioner are designed to be used together. The shampoo will strip your hair of the oils that have built up in it. Then the conditioner will moisturize and nourish your hair. This prevents your scalp from thinking your hair is too dry and making too much extra oil. When you are conditioning your hair, you should leave your conditioner on for as long as possible. Some people like to leave it on overnight. However, if you do not have the time to do that, then try to leave it on for at least 5 minutes. Hair care brands have been telling us for years that hair care is a one-size-fits-all approach. But this just isn't true. People with curly hair need to use a different conditioner from people with straight hair. It is also true that people of African descent need to use different conditioners to people of Indian descent. And people of... As we mentioned before, a well-rounded diet is the key to healthy hair. However, if you want truly healthy hair then you may want to look into taking supplements. There are a few vitamins and minerals that have been proven to make our hair healthier. While we can easily include some of these into our diet naturally, others are harder to come by. The key supplements you should be looking out for are vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, iron, and zinc. Finally, you should consider taking a zinc supplement. Zinc has been proven to help us grow stronger and healthier hair and nails. It is one of the most important supplements to take if you want glossy hair. Take a look at the ingredients list of the shampoo you are currently using. If the list includes sulfates, then it's time to ditch it. For years, cosmetics companies have been putting sulfates into our shampoos and face cleansers. While they do clean our bodies very efficiently, they don't do it in a good way. Sulfates strip everything from our skin and hair, including the natural oils, which are essential for our hair's good health. Not only does this cause our body to start overproducing oil, but it also dries out our hair. When you are beginning your journey to healthier hair, it's most likely that the tips of your hair will be beyond health. When you start looking after your hair, you should focus on the new roots that are growing through. If you keep them healthy, eventually all your hair will be healthy. You can speed up this process by regularly visiting the hairdressers. For the last decade, skin and hair care experts have been recommending that we all purchase silk pillows. The silk is more gentle on our skin than con and can prevent wrinkles. It also causes less friction between our hair and the pillows. This friction can lead to your hair strands fracturing at the top of your head. This will make your hair look thinner and will leave the very top of your hair looking dry and frizzy. We have talked about how to wash your hair. So now it is time to talk about how to treat your hair after you have washed it. Our first tip is to use hair masks. Many people are scared of them because they are worried they will make their hair greasy. However, if you find the right type of mask for your hair then you will only see benefits from using a hair mask. Just like with conditioners, when you are first beginning your hair journey, we recommend that you use a hair mask every time you wash your hair. As your hair gets healthier, you can cut this back to once a month or only when you feel like you need one. If you know anything about hair care then you will not be surprised to see this item on the list. We all know and have known for years that heating tools are bad for our hair. However, not many of us put this knowledge into practice. Many of us are required to attend work with neatly styled hair. So we feel the need to use heat styling tools on our locks every day. This is something we should be trying to avoid. If you do not wash your hair every day and keep it wrapped up at night, you will notice that your styles last a lot longer. 
You may also want to consider looking into ways to create heat-free curls and look into different updos that you can wear even when your hair isn't straightened. If you want to keep your hair healthy, stop dyeing it at home. At home hair dyeing kits contain cheap ingredients that are no good for your hair. You should also avoid bleaching your hair at home. There's perhaps nothing more damaging to your hair than doing this. The bleach in many at home kits is so strong that it can cause your hair to snap off at the roots. You are also unlikely to get the results you are after when you dye your hair at home. If your hair is really damaged then you may want to consider making some rescue hair masks at home. Using natural ingredients like olive oil, bananas, egg, and avocado can start your hair on the journey to recovery. These masks may be as simple as leaving some aloe vera gel in your hair overnight, or you might want some of the thousands of recipes online. You want to make sure that you are picking a mask that is designed for your type of hair. Do you remember that in tip 2, we said you need to think of your hair as three separate parts, the scalp, the roots, and the tips of your hair. We said this because they all need to be treated differently. For example, the tips of our hair very rarely get oily. That is because the oil is produced at our scalp and travels down the hair. This can take weeks, so we often wash our hair before the oil reaches the tips. This tip follows on from the last one. Although it is not as universal, some people will benefit from applying conditioner throughout the lengths of their hair, especially if their hair is very damaged. Everyone might want to consider this at the start of their hair care journey. The main thing that everyone should take from this tip is that when you are applying conditioner, you should apply the most to the tips of your hair. Keeping your hair healthy isn't just about putting the right hair mask on it. To have glossy, moisturized, and happy hair, you need to make sure you are looking after the rest of your body. You want to be eating enough protein, taking vitamin D supplements, and drinking enough water. Wrapping your hair up in a silk wrap at night can help to prevent split ends, as well getting your hair cut regularly. If you follow this 15 tips, you will see a difference in the quality of your hair in a matter of weeks. Once you understand what type of hair you have, you can start to look after it correctly. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching and stay with us subscribing to this channel. Have a great day.